business vocabulary vocabulary series topics covered commonly used business words with examples learning outcomes by the end of this module the learner will be able to use the business words in their professional communication Let's delve more into business vocabulary. A good business vocabulary gives you an edge over the others in the workplace. It helps you to share your ideas and opinions clearly and with conviction. Effective communication skills and a good vocabulary is the key to climbing the corporate ladder let us look at some examples cold calling a headline in the new scientist read as follows britain's biggest phone company has taken to cold calling customers to encourage them to take on extra services The meaning of cold calling is a telephone call or visit made to someone who is not known or not expecting contact often in order to sell something. Marketing mix A headline in Sun in the year 2002 read as follows Ireland's positive image is a key element in their marketing mix the meaning the variety of marketing activities including product price place and promotion refers to marketing mix in this context seed money a headline in the glasgow herald read as follows first heyman and his squad need seed money between 150000 pounds and 160000 pounds to develop properly the project let us look at the meaning of seed money seed money is a modest amount of money used to convert an idea into a viable business ball park an excerpt from the times in the year 2002 read as follows the bidders were well aware of the ball park figure required to acquire a controlling stake in the club the meaning of ball park is it refers to an informal term for a rough estimated figure price war a line from courier in the year 2004 read as follows mobile telephone owners are in for big discounts in a looming price war the meaning of price war is a situation where different companies compete with each other by lowering price okay. premium brand An excerpt from the Economist read as follows: Its three big premium brands, BMW, Mercedes-Benz, and Audi, part of Volkswagen, are working flat out to meet demand for their beautifully engineered, stylish motors. Let's look into the meaning of premium brand. a high quality brand at the top end of the market refers to a premium brand overheads an excerpt from economist reads as follows overheads are higher as a proportion of revenues than at most of its rivals and have not fallen as sales have grown 
the meaning of overheads is it refers to the regular and necessary costs of running a business back pay a headline in times in the year 2004 read as follows the 1957 employees whose claims were upheld will be entitled to 11 years back pay the meaning of back pay is it is the pay that is owed to an employee for work carried out before the current payment period and is either overdue or results from a backdated pay increase cut price product a headline from irish times read as follows up to recently the ecb was under pressure to make one further cut in rates the meaning is a product sold at less than its usual price niche market an excerpt from times in the year 2002 read as follows but what began as a niche market expanded until the supermarkets started showing a serious interest the meaning of niche market is it is a market for a very specialized products fringe benefits a headline from business today read as follows that's more of a fringe benefit than being one of the drivers for the merger the meaning of fringe benefit is what you get in monetary terms which is additional to your pay golden handshake an excerpt from india today read as follows in 1997 ms rajaram made a calculated move the 51 year old employee with the central bank of india opted for a golden handshake the meaning of golden handshake is a large payment made to someone when they leave their job now let us check your understanding of the various business words end user an excerpt from the independent read as follows you have to be able to describe things in a form that the end user can understand you will be given four options you have 5 seconds choose the correct option the correct option is option number 1 the end user is the person who uses the software or hardware after it has been fully developed marketed and installed business angel an excerpt from sun anika got 45000 pounds investment from a business angel plus 100000 pounds from the government's small firms loan guarantee the four options are given to you you have 5 seconds to choose the right answer the correct answer is option number 4 Business angel is a person in disguise who helps you in your business. Intellectual property. An excerpt from British Medical Journal read as follows. In addition to patent attorneys, some lawyers also specialize in intellectual property law. The four options are given here. You have 5 seconds to choose the correct answer.
The correct answer is option number one. Generally used to refer to laws that give exclusive rights of use for an organization's creations. Sales pitch. A headline from Business Today read as follows. Sequencing is important too, whether it's an academic presentation, a sales pitch, or a feedback session. Your options are given to you. Choose the correct answer. You have five seconds. The correct answer is option four. Sales pitch is an argument or other persuasion skills used in selling. Staff turnover. A line from Business Link website read as follows. Regular monitoring of staff turnover can show you why it is happening and enable you to control and forecast it. The four options are given here. You will be given five seconds to choose the correct answer. The correct answer is option number three. Staff turnover is the rate at which an employer gains or loses staff. Ma and Pa shop. A line from the star.com read as follows. Do you live in a neighborhood where there is still the traditional Ma and Pa shop? Your four options are given to you. Choose the correct option in five seconds. The correct answer is option number one. Ma and Pa shop is a small family run business. Guerrilla marketing. A line from entrepreneur.com read as follows. A good measure of guerrilla marketing is the number of relationships you build over a particular period of time. The four options are given to you. Choose the correct answer in five seconds. The correct answer is option number one. Guerrilla marketing is a marketing technique which involves the four P's of marketing. Liquid assets. An excerpt from the sun read as follows. Figures out this week say there are 74,000 people in Britain with liquid assets of more than one million pounds. Your options are in front of you. Choose the correct option in five seconds. The correct option is assets that can quickly be converted to cash refers to liquid assets. Now we come to the end of the module Business Vocabulary.